Hello everyone, welcome back to Physics Mage. Today, let us check out a problem which is based on the concepts involving projectile motion and a property of light. Let us try and solve this problem. Dear students, in this problem, basically we are considering a part particle here and that particle is thrown with some velocity and it is moving all the way as shown in this particular diagram and suppose if i say at some time t at t is equal to zero we are projecting it at some time t it is at some location let's say then let me call its coordinates as x comma y so basically we know that this distance is going to be x and the corresponding this distance from here to this point is y okay now this particular location will cast a sh shadow here at this location okay so the height of the shadow from the reference will be h okay so we need to find h as a function of time that's our overall planning here okay now in order to do so first we have to understand few important information given here they are saying that we are projecting this one with minimum possible velocity to hit the bulb. What does that even mean? Minimum possible velocity to hit a bulb, right? So suppose if you recollect the range expression that probably most of you remember that. So the range expression is given by u squared sine 2 theta by g using u is initial velocity with which you are throwing and theta is the angle of projection. Suppose if we use this ideas, then you know that the projectile will move and fall at certain place. Let's say this is point of projection and this is point of landing. Okay, let me write point of landing as p dash here. And say here L is the distance between p to p dash. Okay, point of projection to point of landing, the distance is L. So we know that the range is L. And that is fixed value and we have to operate with minimum possible u if u is minimum see here we know that this is our expression suppose if you are having this information that l is constant and g is constant then if u to be minimum if u is minimum u square is minimum if u square is minimum then sine 2 theta should be in its maximum value Whenever we are given with this kind of information, guys, minimum possible velocity, then it is indirectly said that you have to choose the sine 2 theta to be in its maximum value. And I hope you are all comfortable with this idea. Sine 2 theta maximum value, here it can take the value of 1. Okay. Suppose if it is taking 1, then which is indirect information that we are projecting at an angle 45 degrees. Okay, so we are projecting at an angle 45 degrees. So once we know this, then we can easily solve this problem. Okay, so let us complete this problem then. We have, like, say, angle of projection here given to be 45 degrees. And with whatever the velocity with which we are throwing, let me name it as u. And the particle is here x coordinate, y coordinate, we know. So this is our x and y then as the particle is moving suppose if i say that the tragic trajectory expression is now given by x tan theta into 1 minus of x by r i hope you are all familiar with these kind of expressions probably you would have memorized these things by now so suppose if you are not sure please put that in the comment section i will like give the details of like how to do that okay so y equals x tan theta into 1 minus of x by r just now we realized that the angle of projection is 45 degrees if angle of projection is 45 degrees y is going to be x into 1 minus of x by l okay so y is going to be x into l minus of x by l let me call this as equation 1 okay now this we have then what else since we know that this is the location of the bulb and this is the shadow formation happening here 
then h is the height we have right let me take the angle this one as some phi okay so let me check out this similarity in triangles here so if we call this as point o and this one as say m and n okay so we can now say like s b and o triangle and m n o sorry m n p right and s b o triangle triangle are similar if these are similar right if these are these two triangles are similar then their sides are proportional so we can write h by l overall length l should be equal to because we know that from here all the way to this point this length is l right so h by l is equal to y divided by this distance which is l minus of x distance from here to this point l minus x now little bit of rearrangement which gives us say h is equal to l by l minus of x into y okay call this as equation 2 so use equation 1 and 2 use equation 1 and 2 so we can say that h is going to be l by l minus of x into the value of y value of y from equation 1 we have x into l minus of x by l so you can simplify and say h is equal to x right suppose if h is equal to x then it is kind of surprising result for some students so h is equal to x we got so we have u x is equal to u cos 45 right u cos 45 times t using kinematical equation for constant acceleration where acceleration is zero in the horizontal direction we got this so h is going to be then u times cos 45 1 by root 2 times of t but what is this u anyhow we know that we are throwing at an angle of 45 degrees since we are throwing at an angle of 45 degrees we have the value of u to be root of gl root of gl and 1 by root 2 right times t so the conclusion is h is going to be root of gl by 2 times of t so dear students here for those who got some problem with this how i took u is equal to root of gl you have the r max equals u squared by g expression u squared by g expression where theta equals 45 degrees right now if we uh, have here that range is l so u squared by g so u is going to be root of l g okay so like this we got h as a function of time so that's the solution for this particular problem and what property of optics we are using here so we are considering that light travels in straight lines light travels in straight lines and that's the property that we are using with respect to optics so i hope you have understood this problem so if you still have any doubts please put that in the comment section thank you everyone